Hello, sign of Scorpio. This is Kim with your reading. It's been a while that uh, for uh, for you all, as far as like when I did a Celtic cross last. So I'm gonna do a Celtic cross for you, and that's how we will get our messages today. Opening up, of course, to your spirit team, your spirit guides, and great angels here helping us. Let's see messages please for the sign of Scorpio also if you would like a private reading those are priced 20, 20 yeah 20 22 dollars to 60 dollars three different prices in the description box below if you want one it's how I keep the channel going and um appreciate it appreciate the support I have adjusted the ads to hook up better if there were too many before All right, and thank you for liking. Of course, thanks for your beautiful comments. I love them. I love to see how the readings resonated, if they did, and um, I just like getting a high, actually. <laughs> think it's is my favorite part of the day. All right. This is the Druid Craft Tarot deck, by the way. I have some cards coming, some interesting ones. <laughs> really interesting ones. The uh, Oracle I got. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna fit it into the readings, but I'll figure a way. It's called Heaven or Hell Oracle. <laughs> oh my God, it's, it's, it's not hilarious. <laughs> it's not hilarious, very serious actually. Um, and then I got, uh, these little round, I don't know, I, I didn't look too much into them, I just know they were pretty, so, little round tarot cards. <clears throat> Alright, so stay tuned for that stuff, should be here by the 15th. Oh, there's strength showing up. This is the card that tells you, without a doubt, you can trust in your confidence and your power and your strength at this time. Okay. Of course, as it applies to overcoming obstacles and challenges. Nice. Whoa, Mom. Sorry, that's my little, little angel on in the spirit realm. My mom helping with this reading, as she does. <laughs> okay, two for the outcome. <clears throat> hmm, three for the outcome. Maybe one more. What's going on? Okay, I know I'm getting a little obsessive right now. Okay. Sorry, I was getting a little obsessive there with that outcome, but I have a feeling we're going to have to clarify anyway on all of this because, wow. <clears throat> all right, in the past I have the devil energy in the reverse. This is what the devil card looks like in this deck, and it's in the reverse. So there's something to do with um, uh, breaking free from controlling situations, toxic situations, fear, breaking free from our um, demons. Scorpio, tell me about this past devil in reverse. High priestess in the reverse. Okay, this is this is kind of a good sign in a way. Okay, it's it's losing patience for the situation with the seven of pentacle in the reverse and not investing in something anymore. Okay, 
that the high priestess in reverse might be saying that we that, that we could kick ourselves for not listening to our intuition earlier or it, it's something like that it's giving that type of vibe of i shouldn't have been investing in this for so long in the first place but this is a lot of um i think it's like a you're beating yourself up for what you had to overcome and or your experience and we shouldn't you shouldn't do that but you, and so you have the high priestess you just do your best you just do your best um the high priestess in reverse to the high priestess upright though is significant as being part of the outcome is that things are flipped and you're listening to your intuition more you're going within to find your answers trusting your answers <clears throat> All right, so there's some type of obstacle or challenge that we are actually regaining focus. We're not allowing it to pull us off of our focus. Um, here's the challenge. It has to do with these energies that are, be, that are feeling challenging to work with in the first place. And I'm, so, I'm saying this Three of Pentacles reversed as the challenge as being something where there's cooperation that is a challenge <laughs> um getting i don't know if it's about getting others on board or, or if it's getting people to like not see something as i'm competing and to see something as we all um, have a share or we all have a right to whatever this is it you i feel like you can see that though i, I feel like you're able to navigate this quite well Yeah. All right. And then the Ace of Swords here, it's in the reverse in the heart spot. Hmm. 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 It may be a situation where it's not crystal clear or logically working out in the mind, in the brain, but yet in the heart space you may be more connected or feeling like we're more connected i'll get clarification on that <clears throat> it's almost like, like like the heart trying to make sense of <laughs> the heart trying to logically make sense of what the heart or wait the mind trying to make logical sense of what the heart already knows let <laughs> me say that right Clarify the Ace of Swords reverse for me, please. The Knight of Wands. Look how many Knights you have. Well, this is a King, but I mean, <laughs> shit. Knight, Knight. <clears throat> the heart is feeling very passionate, and and um, and or somebody is feeling very passionate about you. Wanting to move towards you. Wanting to get something moving. Going. Could be talking about going in the direction of your heart. And um, how to do that. How to have some kind of clarity on that. But where I, I see you putting an end to a group of thoughts. That were keeping us um, down or defeated. And this is a rebirth. This is a rebirth on what the heart wants too like a new experience as to what the heart wants uh, this is the end of betrayal you've put the worst behind you when you get this card you've put the worst behind you all right and and you're looking forward to that rebirth it's the best way i think to describe that um let's jump to what's in your environment and then we'll go to how you're feeling so i have the uh prince of cups or the knight of cups and this comes in as an offer or something to be proposed to you it's unexpected it might be uh business related it might be romantic it's gonna be something of that nature it sure is looking romantic though because then you have the four of wands this is this might be the energy that oh hmm. That might be the energy that you're picking up on. You could be having dreams, quite intense dreams. You could be, if you're actually in contact with this energy, then it would be a very charming, seductive, loving 
energy, wanting to move something forward. The four of wands, here's your uh, outcome. Uh, not outcome. Well, kind of. It's your goal and destiny. I think it's hinging on what you want or what you're going to decide because there is some type of offer coming in. It leads to... Like this could be the marriage card for you, but it could, it's it's like a coming together eleven eleven with who you're supposed to be with soul soul mate twin flame maybe like energy, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't like labels because if you get something wrong and you've labeled it, then there you have already made an assumption and put something in a box. You know that's why I don't like too many labels. Okay, so <clears throat> King of Cups is how you're feeling though. This is good this is good this is your energy here scorpio so you're feeling loving you're feeling like a master of the mood there's this sweet little dog right behind the, this person's throne looking out onto the ocean because um their emotions are really balanced there's somebody that uh, knows how to uh, be diplomatic with people That a harpsichord or some type of I don't know some type of instrument there too so there's music intertwined with this uh, message also music music you could be getting messages through dreams music synchronicities even the horse looks dreamy on this card <laughs> look at the hair way better than my hair but it, well that doesn't take much to have better than my hair <laughs> okay so Tell me uh, um, about this offer. Oh my gosh, just the truth and clarity that your heart has been searching. Oh, it's the seraphim. <laughs> it is. If you look up the frequency and then you go type it, it is. It sounds like that. All right, so the Ace of Swords is the clarity that here the heart space is trying to figure out. I would say it's definitely not going to be, this is good communication. This is the ace of communication. This is your, for some, this is your knight in shining armor. Not that you are ever in distress. Just because this is how you wanted the fairy tale to go, maybe you're that for this other person. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, there's a story that's evolving here that is really, really timeless and beautiful. Hmm. Wow. For some of you, you don't even know this person. This would be a confession from them to you. Tell me about three of ones. Future energy about expansion and growth. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Well, we're dealing with some heavy emotions that we're still processing. All right, the regrets, the sadness, the things that didn't work, the three cups that didn't work out in the picture. We're trying to be positive and look towards the future. I see this person moving past the ace of wands after they've been inspired. And then they are now focused, which that's what the five of wands in reverse is also saying, is that then you're focused, then you're planning um, you're prepared for good things and you know that the journey, like if this is a new journey, it's yet to start. This is the start of it. You're just watching to see, okay, when does the ship come in? Cause you're probably going to get on it. And then, and then it goes up to, because you're, it is manifesting in the celebration that you will have. Yeah. There's some issue with not having complete clarity in your heart space of, is this even real? Are your feelings real? What is this? There's something like that. There is, this energy is so different than what you've been through here in the past with the betrayal, with the sadness, with the things that this is also a card of mourning and loss. So if you had somebody that you have lost, you know, it's a, it's a having, having to spend time and, and, um, grieving and, um, being in that energy, feeling that energy, you want to feel it. Uh, 
Armor is good for you, like spiritual protection, but it's only necessary in the battle. But you know that. You are the king of cups. You know that. So anyway, having this news get to you, this is kind of the issue. And I think that this is the issue with the outcome, too. So I have the eight of wands in the reverse. It's like a person waiting on news or communication. Well, you get it. Because, let's see. Clarify it. It could be the hope or the fear. The fear could be... That something that you're wanting is never communicated to you or ever comes through. I don't know what this heartbreak or interference. It could be interference because of, oh, well, the way that the heart must heal. It might feel like that. A disappointment, a sadness. There's some type of, okay, I'll, I'll be, I've got to be completely honest. There's some type of sadness, um, after that something had ended and that you've clearly felt a rebirth, there's some type of sadness or disappointment that the communication has not come in yet. It is sad. And you're wondering or questioning, is this dream even real? Is this feeling even real? Is this desire for what I want? For maybe it's a maybe it's another energy uh, with a... Uh, um, I don't know, a smudged out face. Like maybe you don't know who this is, what they look like. It doesn't matter to you. Like you can sense the soul, but now it's like, am I sensing the soul? Am I imagining this? No, you're not imagining it. Yes, the heart is healing. And yes, you are going to get clarification. Here is your main message. Okay, so <clears throat> then we move to this rather complicated outcome. And... This is where some of the sadness is coming from. All right. I love the high priestess. I'm glad that I kept pulling and pulling and pulling. <laughs> Chariot in reverse. I got the message is coming exactly when I said that. The chariot in reverse is coming. Okay. So obviously we're dealing with it not at the moment. But I got the message is coming. Your payout, your harvest is coming also. The nine of pentacle in the reverse. Keep putting in that effort, the same effort that you have been. And I'm going to pull a clarifying card for that Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like something has been, with the Chariot in the reverse, it feels like something has been delayed for quite some time. It feels like if you were viewing a spiritual inheritance as, for some, it's, it's about wealth and money and things that you need to have, to that you want to have. Because you ultimately, there's something about giving back also that you would like to do with that. Okay, and so there's some type of delay in that. There could be a delay in something moving forward because of an issue that has caused a codependency or something that's going to be moved moved away from in order to be more independent. It could be that we're waiting on um, our spiritual spouse to come through and that, well, yeah, we might not know what that even looks like or who they look like, but we're um, feeling the energies. And we, so we kind of know what's going to come, but when we don't feel or see something moving forward, it's frustrating. And so something is being revealed to you with the moon in reverse. It, it has to do with how you feel, of course, that's being revealed. Hmm. Or a little bit of the unknown or the mystery that's been bothering you about why you haven't gotten news yet or why something hasn't moved forward yet. I'm hearing the word a complication, like some kind of complicated, it's something to be revealed. Um, and then the high priest is beautiful, trusting yourself. Say yes to heaven, cause I've got my eye on you. I've got my eye on you. Say yes to heaven, Lana Del Rey. Listen to that. That should make you have it. 
that should brighten your um, spirit of what this energy that I feel like is your a counterpart or spirit telling you to say yes to the, everything about the journey. Say yes to heaven. Say yes to heaven. Say yes to me. Of course that one wanted to come out. Say yes to me. That's what this person is going to say. Is like, say yes, this is heaven. Say yes to me. I think I'm a hopeless. Um, six of Swords. Does it could come with me? Come this way? Or this is the way the journey is leading you? Say yes, because I've got my eye on you. I've got my eye on you. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Eight of Cups. And the Page of Pentacles. Ooh. Guys, for some of you all, it's definitely going to be like there will be an increase in the finances. Okay? and But the Page of Pentacles, on a, it is tangible. It's material. And it's the actual pathway that you can see. It's significant. It's news or message of a pathway being revealed to you. Where is this pathway? Well, it has to do with you freeing your mind 8-8 eight, eight, from any limitations, which you do successfully. This is freedom. This is freedom. And you're not chained into any type of prison of your mind. You know that. And there's the path. The Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups both have a strong reference to detaching from what was and moving into something new. And then this card, which it was touching, is the Knight of Wands, which is about movement and travel. This person has their red cape on, they're inspired, they're going to create, and they're walking on this pathway. It leads to the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is your wishes fulfilled. So, so that was your um, Celtic Cross. Say yes to heaven, say yes to me, say yes to heaven, cause I got my eye on you, I got my eye on you. Spiritual eyes. <laughs> okay. One oh eight Oracle. What else? Crew in sync working together. Alliances, partnership, team effort. The forked road. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry. The crew. Alliance pulling assets. Also the forked road direction change. Options, free will, choice, a turning point, and a change in circumstances. You see the dark road. You see the more lit up path. It's your choice. Uh, as, far, as far as this um, nice 3-3, three, three, this uh, networking, friends, um, working together. I have network, support, associates, gathered, meeting, socialize, organization, arrangement, uh, a large amount or quantity and in connection with oh dynamite excitement passion action suspense destroy powder keg fantastic energetic breakup breakup sudden unexpected and then another five guys cool oh, with a yes at this time this situation is changing it's in a state of flux anything can happen five five Oh, I'm pulling from this deck. I didn't know I was. Change in the mature man. 
I thought I picked up the, um, I <laughs> obviously didn't look very well. I thought I was picking up the angel number deck and it's the Kipper deck. So they're wanting me to go on. Okay. Waiting on a message again, waiting on a message. Oh, well, once you get it, it'll be dynamite though. Seven, seven, be brave, be brave, be strong. is in the distant horizons a big decision an offer but the answer might be yes from you who knows moving out of despair name now moving out of despair or a difficult situation where we're in a hardship of some kind maybe there's an obstacle from some kind of older woman mature woman maybe because they're in the reverse I have concern, 33, another 33. So 33 with these two cards and then 33 there too. So you are so on somebody's mind a lot. There's a telepathic connection. There's a telepathic connection, watch your thoughts. But I have this message coming out again. It's in the reverse. So, yeah, somebody's really concerned or there's an energy that's connecting with you. Like I said, this energy is connecting with you um, telepathically, spiritually. Their soul is. You're on their soul thought uh, all the time. Uh, and, yeah, um, there's a constant thought of, of how am I going to give this message to you from them. How am I going to get a message to you? I want to get a message to you. It's not here yet. It is in the reverse. It's frustrating. I've got to say the olive branch. Eight, I have the beehive. Diligent, persistent, stamina, hard work, tireless. You'll be freeing freeing yourself or something about free, being free, feeling free. <clears throat> you know what? Let's get uh, an angel number message as I was going to and close out the reading for you Scorpios hope you enjoyed that or got something from that reading say yes to her. you are a visionary I relate 23 to that page of pentacles so I love the number 23 I have 88 I am wealthy we did see 88 it was associated with the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Cups. But I also have an Eight here. So, Eight, Eight, Eight. I am wealthy. You're on the cusp of a prosperous, it's spiritual and abundant and material life. Six, Six, your angels, or your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. Keep your thoughts positive. Of course, these can be your thoughts too to keep positive and balanced at this time. And then two more sixes with the twelve. Creativity is a driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you're able to express your feelings and insights in unique ways others can benefit from. I am a visionary. Zero, zero, I am observant. Angels are asking for your attention. It says open your eyes and listen and, and think about everything that's happening. Trust your intuition and then follow the guidance. 23 is about you wanting to experiencing life as an adventure something that you live to the fullest that's what that card is about so it says 23 i'm adventurous and that's what i have for scorpios i'm sending you light and love bye